You hear a lot of people say, what's good for the bird is good for the herd. Declining grassland bird species, projects like this gives us an opportunity to monitor into the future and see if we're making a difference. My name's Josh Hobbs, um, the Central Montana uh, Coordinating Biologist for Pheasants Forever. And we're standing here in beautiful Muscle Cell County here on a beaver dam analog project, also known as Mesic Restoration. Mesic Restoration is using local materials, handmade materials and handmade structures to slow that water down, let it hold and soak into the ground. So it really mimics a classic beaver dam. Our main goal for this project is to expand the opportunity, expand the habitat, expand the better grazing, gives the ranchers a little bit more green to graze, as well as it really benefits our wildlife. This is helping landowners, this is helping the general public for hunting access and wildlife and conservation as a whole. The crew that we have working here on the site and really the backbone and the labor to getting these structures in is the youth employment program, the YUP crew out of Dillon, Montana. Oh. Sir, Thank you. do you wanna go first? Sure. I'm Blake Sullivan. I am currently employed with the Youth Employment Program. So my name is Isabel Shaw. I'm Adrian Randall. Morgan Baisley. Nolan Salix with the Youth Employment Program. Our students, when they come to work for Youth Employment Program, from a ha half to three quarters of them, they haven't really lived or worked in this kind of landscape. So this is new to them. And they learn a lot about the interaction between the landscape, food, local production, and their community. Pheasants Forever, we love working for it because it's in the spring, we get to come out to Eastern Montana. A lot of times it's a little warmer out here. Pheasants Forever also has been such a strong partner in mentoring our, our employees. And that's why we really appreciate them because they help us do our job of mentoring. It's teaching me that we have valuable resources, natural valuable resources that we still need to depend on. It's so cool to see the amount of undisturbed wildlife that's here just because it's so like far from any other human population. This is a job that beavers used to do, you know, to support the local ecosystem. Pheasants forever. We're willing to come together and really get this thing going. Like not even just talk about it, but actually take action and make it happen. That was good. Mm. Good job. I've heard of Pheasants Forever through the college uh, and through specific classes, um, through YEP, because they're also a fellow nonprofit organization. And I know their goal is similar to ours and try to keep, well, it's in their name, Pheasants Forever. They're trying to keep pheasants in for as long as they can. So it's really encouraging. And thanks to the, thanks to the rancher letting us work on his property and him wanting, it takes a lot to take that next step and it's not easy. So we commend him for doing that as well. You have better riparian areas. You've got better grass. You've got better beef and better beef, better production. More money in your pocket, more money for other people. If they work more with Pheasants Forever, they can do a lot more for other landscapes in general and benefit. It's a circle, right? So you got your ranchers, then you got Pheasants Forever, and you just keep that cycle going. They work together and you can get something done, something beautiful. Do you have anything else to add on to that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That concept of local ranching connected to conservation, connected to our community and our employees is essential. We all love seeing the conservation on the ground. We all love seeing the wildlife. We all love eating beef that these ranchers are producing. I just really want to send the appreciation to ranchers here in Montana, the willingness to be conservation minded partner with these nonprofit agencies like Pheasants Forever and Winnet Aces to move the needle for conservation and move the needle for sportsmen and move the needle for ranching families and sustainability of our ranchers, our future generations, and our conservation practices we're putting on the ground.